so good. Ishii can just do anything with anybody and make it work. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to this glorious YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa, and today we are going to be reviewing the nights three and four of the G1 Climax 30. I know, I'm finally recording it. Okay, so last time I told you everything about the G1. If you guys want to watch that, you can. It's probably going to be somewhere. I'll be sure to put it in like a the down bar or something. If you guys want to go watch that. And today, I have nights three and four for you. So I actually, this time, took some notes to have a more concise review. And we're going to go over it today. So we're going to do A block and B block. Um, and I'm going to give you my rating, tell you what I thought of the match. And yeah. So first match, Jeff Cobb versus Shingo. Um, this was very hard hitting, which isn't surprising because they're more of a hard hitting style wrestler. Um, and I definitely think Jeff Cobb is someone that has gotten way better over the past year or so. And, like, I've been thoroughly enjoying him, seeing him in the G1. He's someone that I don't mind necessarily being in the G1. And um, him versus Shingo. Plus, I enjoyed it. Um, it was very well paced for, because of the style they were doing, I thought, at least. And the suplexes, there were a lot of them, and they were all very well done. Um, and then Jeff Cobb got the win over Shingo, which deserved, kind of. I don't mind that Shingo lost to him. Not that big of a deal to me. I gave this match a 4. On my rating of 4. Of 1 to 5. I gave it a 4. So next up. Is Okada versus Yujiro Takahashi. Yujiro. I don't know what's up. I, I, Y'all I just. I can't with Yujiro. I can't get behind him. I don't like him. He's not good. I don't know why he's really in here. He's one of the ones that I don't understand. I feel like they could definitely put different people in other than some of these people. And just poor Okada, bro. There was barely any Okada, too, in this match. Like, it was mainly Yujiro just kind of beating up Okada. And you're like, oh, why? And then Okada suddenly is able to tap him out? I don't know. It made no sense to me. <laughs> um, I didn't was not a huge fan of this match. Um, I gave it a 2. Because Okada was trying to sell for him, make him look good. I think Yujiro kind of tried a little bit, but it wasn't anything like... It just wasn't that good to me at all. I was not into it. So Minoru Suzuki versus Taichi. I thought this was going to be interesting because two members of Suzuki. Like, yeah. It started very fast. Like, they just straight up went for it. Like, <laughs> y'all, they were just hitting each other instantly. It was... Definitely, I would say entertaining. I like Tai Chi. I don't know. I don't know why some people don't. He, I think he's good. I enjoy the character. Um, and I think he's definitely someone else that is very much improved. Not to the level of winning the G One, but I think he at least is someone that can be in the G1 and it make sense that he's there. Um, why the chairs? <laughs> Melora Suzuki just hitting him with chairs. Um, and then Taichi also hitting him back with chairs. 
Also very hard hitting because again, Minoru Suzuki is more on the hard hitting side. Taichi kind of too, though Taichi can kind of do some different stuff than Suzuki. But they both kind of have that similar thing going for them. So they kind of went for that, which I personally sometimes enjoy. Like I said with Jeff Cobb versus Chingo, they, it makes sense that of how the match was going when it's so hard hitting and like even though there's chairs and like they're doing all this other crazy stuff like it was mainly a very hard hitting and Taichi got the win we love that for him Taichi I think is actually one of the ones with the higher amount of points in the block I gave this match a three um I thought it was okay wasn't spectacular to me but i mean from i know from what i described i was like yeah like but i gave it a three overall because i do think that there were some things about it that did kind of it was just like oh it's a suzuki match and you know of course they're gonna do this like that's the only thing about it that i was like well i mean yeah like I said, yeah, it's a Suzuki match. Of course it's going to be more hard-hitting. Suzuki's a more hard-hitting wrestler. Like, of course they're going to do that. Like, that's the part of it where it's like, it's very predictable how it's going to go. I'm not into the predictability of something like that. Will Ospreay versus Tomohiro Ishii. Ospreay was being extra as fuck in this match i don't he like i remember there was a part where he like did his little stick on the ground and then at the beginning of the match he was like beating his chest or something um osprey was fucking extra and ishii's so good ishii can just do anything with anybody and make it work like that's what something that i appreciate about ishii but I I really do like Ishii, but I don't think he's one of my top favorites. And again, going back to Osprey being extra, throughout the, like, the, I feel like Osprey being ex so extra sometimes does not work in his favor because it also kind of makes him annoying as fuck to me. Like, bruh, just chill out. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not into that. Um, and Osprey, you are not Jay. Don't do the heel shit with the kicks and the stuff like that. I was not with that because Osprey's not a fucking heel. Well, Osprey's a complete asshole, so yes, he's a heel, but in the wrestling sense, he's not supposed to be a heel. You all get my point. Osprey's a fucking dipshit. We all hate Osprey here. Um, but. Osprey, you're not Jay. Just don't do it. Just don't. It doesn't work. It don't at all. And I... He needs to come up with something different for himself. And of course Osprey won. Of course he did. Because why would anyone else but Osprey win? I gave this match a solid 3.5. I thought it was okay. It wasn't that spectacular it was just kind of there for me more so but they were both playing off of each other very well i felt and i mean that's all you can ask for in a wrestling match so yeah jay versus kota ibushi jay number one heel is my first note um Oh, yeah, he was doing his normal thing where he's running around the ring and stuff. But Jay, the best heel, y'all. Like, I don't know what else to say about him. Just top notch. Any Ibushi's drop kicks are so nice. Like, they are almost Okada nice, y'all. I... I'm really getting behind the Bushi. I really like him. I think he's fucking great. 
and both of them were they are both so versatile in what they can do like i really kind of want to like i don't actually want to see jay as a face because i think he'd be fucking terrible <laughs> but i do want to see jay with a different move set i think it could be interesting to see what else he can do aside from his heel shtick that he does because i think that he could be very good and I, of course, gave this match a 5. I thought it was really good. They played off of each other very well. They were very versatile. It was very well paced, too. Um, I thought that it was great for what it was. And naturally, I'm also a bit biased because Jay won the match. But, hey, that's not the only reason I thought it was good. So... There's that. Now we're moving into B Block. Sonata versus Hiroki Goto. Sonata's so good, y'all. I just love Sonata. His Muda Moon Salts and his drop kicks and just Sonata's stick works for him so well. It's insane. And then Goto was actually kind of able to keep up with it. Very, I was very surprised. Because uh, typically, I'm not a Goto person. I can't get behind him. I don't understand the character. Maybe someone can help me what the character is. I just can't get behind it at all. Not my thing. I'm sorry. Goto fucking sucks to me for the most part. And then Sonata is so versatile when it comes to, like, what he can do. Like, he worked with Goto so well. Because Goto... The thing that I feel like with Goto is Goto can only do a very specific style. And Sonata, obviously, is sometimes... Sonata can really go from hard-hitting to or strong style to flips and tricks and the whole thing. Like... I, Sonata is so versatile that I think it's amazing. And I really like that. Oh. Yeah. Goto won. I gave this match a 2.5. Because Goto won. And I was not happy about it. Because fuck Goto. He didn't need to win that match. Sonata deserved it. And the only reason it also got a 2.5 was because Sonata did so well. Toru Yano versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. This was comedy galore. It was so funny. Tanahashi at one point was in the ring doing his air guitar. <laughs> um, Yano is a pure comedy god. Like, I love Yano and his comedy style. It was hilarious. I just love Yano so much. Yano cracks me up to no end whenever I see him. Like, he's so funny. And Tanahashi is just so good. He can pretty much do anything. Like, this match really worked so well. Like, just, it was... I really enjoyed it for what it was. I gave it a 3 because to me overall out of any match I could ever see like or any other match on the card I thought that it was okay but it wasn't the best. I thought that it could have been better or that there were better matches than it. But yeah, y'all know what I think. Yano actually again did what he did to Moxley. I don't remember to get the win. I don't remember how exactly he got the win. But yeah, Yano won. And we love that for him. Um, so the next match is Juice Robinson versus Kenta. Um, Juice Juice has been so excited to come out to the ring recently. It it I'm really glad. Like and Juice has really improved to me so much. He's another one that I didn't really like, but I'm starting to like a lot more because I feel like he's very much so improved over the past few months, like ever since COVID, 
Because even before COVID, I wasn't that big of a fan. But he came back. And with this new character that he's doing from the Blues Brothers. And it was he's been so good ever since. Yeah, and Kenta... I don't know what's up with him. I enjoyed him. He was fine as Hideo with Tommy and me. Because, like, ever since he came to NJPW, like, he seems very slow. I don't know if that's just his style or what it is. But I don't really... I have... I mean, at first I was okay with it. But I'm not really... I don't know if I'm kind of... I don't know if I'm as into it anymore. Because, like, I was like, Oh, Kenta! Cool! Like... Today of freaking Tommy, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get to do his cool shit, but like ever since he came, like I don't like him as a heel or anything. I'm not into what they're doing. I don't know if it's what they're doing with him though, too. Whatever it is, I'm not with it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And then, like I was just talking about, Juice and New Gimmick is A+. Plus. I love it. I think it's great. It works for him. Um, yeah. And Juice win! We love that for him. And I gave this match a solid 3.5. Because I thought it was okay. But I felt that there could be better. So, yeah. Next match is Evil versus Yoshihashi. <sighs> Y'all, Yoshihashi, I can't with this man. I just can't. This match was bad on so many levels. They're both so fucking slow that it hurts. And then, but in this match though, Yoshihashi, I feel like kind of tried. I feel like, I feel like he kind of tried to get evil into it and like get him to work a little bit. But it, Yoshihashi can't do that because he's not one of those wrestlers. Yoshihashi is just not good. I don't, I don't like him. I'm not into the whole thing at all. I don't get it. I just, I can't. They're both so slow, especially Evil. Like, Evil is so shitty. I don't like the character. I don't like it. It needs to leave existence. And Evil won the match. So, yeah. I gave this match a 2 out of 5. Because, again, at least Yoshihashi somewhat tried. So, the next match is Tetsuya Naito versus Zack. Saber Jr. Naito tried to keep up with Zack here. He tried. Because the thing with Zack is Zack does his moveset so fast sometimes. It's just hard to keep up. Especially with his submissions and everything. It was so funny. Like, Naito, Naito tried to keep up with him. and just. But overall, like I saw it was a good match. Zack is so good. Like, he can do his shtick so well. I just love Zack. Guys. And, as I also said, submissions galore. Because you have Zack. So, of course there's gonna be 10,000 bazillion submissions that are fucking amazing. Because it's Zack. Zack does his submissions that well. And... It was a good match. I thought it was good. Naito did very well for what he can do. Um, and I, of course, always like Zack. I think Zack's a great wrestler. And, yeah, and I'm very happy with the win that Naito got in the match. So, I gave this match a solid four. Okay, well, I guess that's it for today's video. So, yeah, um, if you like my face, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and tell me what you thought of the night three and four, night three and four, the G1 in the comments. Um, and also, if when I upload, 
is that important? The notification bell should be up by my TV. Bye-bye.